Hi everybody. Today is Saturday, February 22nd, and we are strolling around. I woke up really late. I wasn't feeling well yesterday, so I slept in, and we didn't get out till about 11. Um, but today we're walking over to, where are we going, Peanut? Oh, we're going to, we're going to the cemetery? Yeah. We're going to uh, Mademoiselle Marianne Lenormand's grave. Jen Morrison's there too. It's the so. largest cemetery in Paris. What did you say? It's the largest cemetery in Paris. The largest cemetery in Paris. And she's over there. So we're going to go check her out. And then um, we stopped and got coffee. And this magnificent thing I'm going to have to show you guys later. Um, Peanut already ate his. And it looked fantastic. So, I'll catch you guys later. We're on our way to uh, Marie Lermont's uh, final resting place. And we came across this fantastic church. I believe it's St. Antoine here. It's just tucked away. In the middle of apartment buildings. See? It's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep rolling. <clears throat> and if anything else cool comes up while we're walking, make sure to film it. One thing I've noticed about France is these amazing flower shops that are just kind of all over the place. As well as these teddy bears that are in window shops. Um, we got some beautiful tulips here. Some of these. Tulips. Oh, and the bees are everywhere, you guys. How cute. Bees. I would like, the closer we get to her grave, I think I am going to stop and see if we can pick up some flowers for her and one thing I've also noticed I'm not quite sure what they are is these little things um, I don't see a sign and there's a bicycle right here so I don't think we can tell what they are but they're they're quite lovely and these things here yeah oh, I wish you guys can smell this the smell of vision because they're lovely So I found another uh, flower shop, and here's what these little things are. Um, can't tell if that says Mimosa or Elamosa, um, but they're 10 euro. They were cheaper at that other one, because um, I wanted to stop and get some flowers for Marie. Um, you know what, you guys like stuff inside. Oh, this is gorgeous. I wish you can smell. Oh, these are beautiful. I'm going to get her some of these. And these, I've seen these before at Trader Joe's. Back home. Look at that. We are in here. So we've been walking for about two miles now, and I'm about to eat my breakfast that we got this morning. You see that? Do you see that? Wonderful deliciousness on the inside. That would be Nutella. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the French put Nutella on everything, and I 
love it. Off the outdoor market here, and um, I didn't pick up flowers at that last shop. Because uh, the peanut was telling me we still have a, a good 45 minute walk. <clears throat> so we're, we're a bit closer now. We came across uh, this market and they have all sorts of pretty stuff. Um, they're $12 for $12. Euro. I think these are so pretty. But I think I might get her some roses, which are over down that way. Um, but I'm in the line <laughs> right now. Um, this one. I don't know what these are. But isn't that beautiful, you guys? Pink and white flowers. Um, that bundle over there. It's 25 euro. So these are the flowers we picked up for Marie. Sorry, I'm like trying to walk and film at the same time. So I'm probably killing it. But they're quite lovely. Um, here we are. I believe we've made it to the cemetery. Or, well, here's one cemetery. We're on this side. I think we're going to walk through there to get to where we need to go. But, um, it's all the tombstones because we're waiting across the street. Um, there it is. Well, there's one. I don't think this is the one we're going to, so try to film once we get in there. So we have arrived at the historical cemetery where uh, Marie Lenormand has been laid to rest. Uh, we googled um, her site, so we're gonna trek in there. This is a very large um, cemetery. Um, so we found her plot, we had to Google map it, and we're gonna be walking over there. But I wanted to show you guys, um, for those of you that do speak French or have taken French, um, this is the sign that's out in the front. For anybody that uh, knows French, you can pause it here and if you would be so kind to help us translate. We tried to use Google Translator and it wasn't, um, it wasn't picking this up. So that's what that says. And this is the cemetery. Peanut's over there holding the flowers. Um, so we're gonna go in there and try to find her. And I'll catch you guys on the inside. Here we are. Um, she is in the division, um, division three. But there's quite a few notable people here as well. Uh, Jim Morrison is here. Oscar Wilde is here. Um, so we're gonna be probably spending quite a bit of time here um, checking out the area. So this is Division One. So we're at Division One, babe. Here's the map. Oh, so, so there's 
there's that tree up there somewhere. It doesn't have her name. It doesn't have her name here. Well, no, there's too many people here. There's a, there's a three right here. See? Oh, okay. So she's around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, so that's right, like and literally then right there. Jim Morrison is like back over here somewhere. And yeah, Oscar well, Wilde is. I mean, that's on the map. I mean, okay. That's on Google Maps. So. But here's here's some notable names. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, so that's Numero Division. Okay, so it's, she's in three, which yeah, is just right. Yeah, she's in three. It's right around two. the corner. Oh, well, it says Division. There's a sign right there. Yeah, and there's one right here. See, yeah. Avenue okay. Principal, First Division. That's cool. So we're gonna go wander around. Division two is this way. There's a little sign right there. Division two. She's got a tiny, tiny little um, grave. It's nothing huge. Familia de... Mm, look at these. I shouldn't be filming on this side, you guys, because the light, the sun is right behind there. Um, so the next street is three. So the next street well, we'll is three. Find out right away, and then we can wander around and, well, I'm and gonna, look at a bunch of the other stuff. I'm gonna hang out with her for a little bit. All right, so we'll see so when we get found there. her. Um, here she is, uh, Mademoiselle Lenormand, right there. Um, she's got a very, very, very small, quaint little site here, and you can see where people have dropped off some. Uh, some plants they have some candles for her here's a picture of her back here that's what she used to look like well it looks like it's a rendition of her of some way shape or form mademoiselle lenormand right there um it's fantastic absolutely fantastic never thought I'd make it out here <laughs> to visit but uh, here we are um, so for those of you that don't know much about her she was a very famous uh, fortune teller here in France um, around the 18th century um, she told a lot of fortunes for uh, Josephine Napoleon and Napoleon himself um, she read a lot for the Russian SARS um, and she was jailed quite a few times uh, for you know doing what she did but it was always very brief um, she never spent a considerable amount of time there so um, yeah here we are and let me get the flowers so and people have put seashells there for her some flowers here. I think I should, you guys think I should put it in this thing. Um, so from all of us at the channel here to Mademoiselle Lenormand, here's the flowers we got for her. I'm going to be putting them in there. I'm going to set my iPad down for a second, okay? These are our flowers for her. From us to her. Oh look, she's got a, a little flower bush right here that, um, uh, has one rose. So from us to her. And here we go, you guys. Pretty cool. So <clears throat> we found uh, Mademoiselle Lenormand's uh, resting place. Um, I took some photos. Um, I just shot a short video and I thought, you know what? We do some readings with her. Um, for those of you that may find this offensive or um, rude or, or disrespectful to those that, th that have been laid to rest, please click off right now. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting here having a chat with her and um, you know, I asked, I said, what, what, what messages do you have for us? And uh, I'm going to show you guys I'm right here now. having a conversation with Mademoiselle Lenormand and I had asked her if she has any, sorry, let me move this, that's her, um, any messages for us and we got the lilies, the clover, 
the key, the stars, and the dog. We can see here with the lilies that she is at peace and she's very happy and very lucky to have us come over to visit her um, as uh, we are friends here. Um, with the lilies and the dog, this is a friend that is at peace, a friend that um, is wise, um, very measured, and they think before they speak here. Uh, a very good advisor. With the clover and the stars, we're seeing a quick celebrity here, um, and also someone that has the keys to uh, their hopes and dreams, their celebrity. Um, I had asked her if she had any messages for us here at the channel. And this is looking like what it's saying is um, that even though she is at peace, she is very lucky and fortunate here that her history has been passed on um, and it has reached a platform where it can spread and metastasize to very lots and lots and lots of people that are friends. Um, uh, this would be like an online community, so perhaps our channel, because the question was any messages uh, for our channel, and this would be the channel here with all of us here, uh, a network of friends that is on the internet, um, and her history being passed along through the ages here to all of us. Um, she is very, very happy um, for us to visit here and uh, she's bestowing many blessings on all of us here with the key being central to the reading um, and it's surrounded by two extremely positive cards here with the um, clover and the stars um, this is an opportunity for celebrity and it's also um, uh, opportunities to have access to your hopes wishes and dreams here um, so that's her message for us here at the channel, that she's very happy she's at peace uh, amongst the stars here, a celestial friend here, we want to read it that way. Um, and she's very happy to have us here to visit with her. And yeah, also this reading here was to ask her for any advice on me as a reader. Um, this is talking about uh, using my voice to speak to people that are far away overseas um, and to, be, to have patience to think over what I say um, before I say anything because I do have a gift here. Um, these two, it's a journey of a gift this way um, and this is going to be something that repeats over and over again. Um, with the birds marrying over here to the whip, this could be verbal arguments. This could also be about uh, uh, meetings that repeat over and over again and then a journey that brings you a lot of joy and pleasure um, because uh, of the wisdom that it provides here with the lilies. This reading with her was to see if she had any um, anything she wanted to tell me about uh, me as a reader. We have the fox, the bear, and the book. This is saying that a job as the manager for readings here so perhaps she's trying to tell me that um, um, being my own boss here doing readings um, for work this way powerful reader strong reader I do this for work um, it's quite the lovely lady isn't she <laughs> so I'm here with um, I'm still here with Marie and I'm pulling three cards here just to um, say goodbye before we leave and ask her uh, she had any messages, um, got the bouquet, the tree, or I'm sorry, the key, and the birds. Um, what she wants to say is thank you for the flowers, our flowers that we brought her, the bouquet here. Um, the flowers are beautiful. She's very happy, um, and she wants to say thank you, and she wants to say um, best wishes, um, and she's very grateful and humbled. Uh, for our visit here today. Um, also, um, that uh, we have, well, the question was any final um, final message for me um, before I leave her here today, and this is what she's saying. Um, thank you for the flowers, they're beautiful. Also, pay attention to the gift. Um, apparently, she's trying to tell me this is a gift. I have a very important gift. 
that I can use my voice to speak about because I understand it here with the birds. The birds is also the card of the mind, your thoughts. So thank you for the flowers and I have a very important gift that can be bring me a lot of success here. So on behalf of all of us here at the House of Lenormand to Mademoiselle Lenormand herself here, um, move these. Um, thank you very much. Um, so very grateful to be here. Um, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd be here. <laughs> um, and um, the flowers from from all of us here at the channel that I got for her. This one won't go down, you guys. I tried. Um, from all of us here at the channel to her. She says thank you for the gifts and or, or the, the flowers that we brought and also um, but I have a very important gift here that I need to work on okay thank you Mademoiselle Marianne Lenormand and I will see you guys on the rest of our adventures so, I just finished having a little chat with her Mademoiselle Lenormand and now we're going to go check out some other stuff Peanut said he found Jim Morrison uh, who else did you find uh, Chopin. Chopin. And uh, I don't know, a couple other ones that just look really cool. Okay, so we're going to take you guys with us, but uh, from all of us at our channel to her, thank you. So we're now leaving um, Marie Lenormand, and it's funny, I did one reading and I got the bouquet and the broom and whip, and I was looking around her grave and I was going behind the bushes to clean it up because um, there was like old wine bottles and stuff there. Interestingly enough, I did find someone had left a, a, a picture of a bouquet and there was a broom there. <laughs> like a small hand broom. I was like, oh, she's quite cheeky. Um, <laughs> she's quite cheeky. So yeah, we're, we're leaving now um, and we're walking back to the hotel and Ian, Peanut and I are having a drink on you tonight, my man. So thank you so much for the super chat the other day. Um, throw out some trash here from Murray's grave. Um, so we're gonna go have a drink at the pub and we'll see you guys we later. Walking around the uh, cemetery, some quite phenomenal uh, tombs and stuff here. But I'm following Peanut around because he said he found a cool one. <laughs> while I was sitting there having a chit chat with the Mademoiselle Lenormand. Um, I have noticed some of these when these doors are open. Um, unfortunately, that one's not bad. Um, unfortunately, most uh, the ones that I have seen over on the third division where Mademoiselle Lenormand is at um, are just full of trash. It's, you know, so I did collect some of it and uh, put it in the trash can because I just I don't know stuff like that just kind of ticks me off um, so yeah this place is pretty uh, fantastical it's um you see all the moss growing on a lot of these uh, Marianne Lenormand had quite a bit of moss growing on her grave too um, but it's uh, Very, very beautiful here. Very, very beautiful. So, I'm following the peanut. Wow, that one looks like a cathedral. Oh, wow. Look at that, 
you guys. I think this is one of the ones that Peanut said he found. He, couldn't, he doesn't know who it was. I'm gonna have to Google. I'm gonna have to use the Googler. can't even read the names, but it looks like husband and wife are in here. That. That's quite grand. Quite grand. Oh, this is what Peanut got on his phone. Here, put it. Right there. Uh, that right there. Okay. And here lies Jim Morrison. 1948 to 1971. Pretty spectacular. Here now visiting Brother Chopin. And here he lays. He's got a lot of flowers. Here, people visiting to see him. graveyard kitty. He didn't seem to be very friendly. He didn't want to talk to us. But you guys, this place is enormous. We still haven't made it to the top of the hill, which is like way up there. You guys can't see it because of the trees. Um, but yeah, just a quick look down over here. I mean, it's just, it's packed, packed, packed. Um, so now we're going up the hill uh, to see who else we can find. Because, I mean, there's just so many here at this site in particular that, um, you know, it's quite, quite difficult to get to all of them in one day. Still, we're still uh, trolling along, and this here appears to be Prince de Valachie. Uh, George is the, I can't pronounce that you guys, and the princess. Um, this one is quite grand. You can tell it's got a dome on the top. And I peered inside the doors here. Um, you can see it's all the floors in here. And then I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up because of the glare. But some of the walls are painted, like right there. Um, there's the tombstone inside here, but everything in here is very painted, very decorative. Um, it says there, Le Prince Mathieu de Bravo, Bravo Couvent, 1913 to 2002. Uh, La Princesse Hélène de Bravo Couvent, 1911 to 1989. And Le Prince Gregory de Bravo Vaughn, 1947 to 2019 on this one here. So I'm just going to keep... We've been walking here forever and there's just so much to see. Um, see, like, there's even more up on top of that hill up there. And then some of them here have been just over time. See, that's that's quite sad. Um, when I see stuff like this, there's been a few sites where we've seen where the trees like this start popping up. The um, see, because some of them, some tombstones are just straight in the ground, and like this one has the tree growing right over it. 
Um, I don't know who's laying here. Um, and it's the, the markings, the engraving on it, which should be here, um, is gone. I would have to like try to do like braille to figure this out on who's here. And then some of them have so much moss growing on them that you can't, you can't see. Um, yeah. But it's, it's pretty large. This is by far one of the most largest um, grave sites we've been to. Um, and here's another very grand one here. Uh, that's another general, Au General Gobert from Mars. It's another general of some sort. There's a family here in this plot. You can see some of them have just not fell over. And like that one back there that's fallen over, those, those are covered up with trees. Um, that one over there has a ziggurat on the top. That white one back there. But there's, I mean, there's so much more way down, down in there. I mean, this, you need like a whole day to get through this thing. See, this one's knocked over. Probably from, see, we've made it to the 28th division, but we haven't gone through every single division either. We've just kind of been cruising around. To all of these. And here's another big one here. It would be quite difficult to see who's here because it's all covered in moss. go and if anything else super cool comes up I'll film it. I'm checking out the cemetery and this here is Oscar Wilde. Here. This one. Yeah. Quite fantastic. So we were we're down in uh, subdivision 90 of the cemetery and look what we stumbled upon that right there is the Lettermond family um, when Marie Lettermond passed she didn't have any children of her own um, so I need to go google this um, because it's quite spectacular um, I know that she did leave her fortunes to her nephew um, so I'm wondering if her nephew, um, this is his family here, quite possibly. Um, but I wasn't expecting to stumble across this. Though I did do some readings for her that I did not film. Well, I filmed it for myself, <laughs> um, which I'm not gonna post because those were a bit, you know, personal. I was just talking to her, um, but uh, yeah, this one is the Famille Le Normand, and it appears to just be this one here. This other one has a different name, so it looks like it's just this one. So we'll have to Google and report back. Hi everyone. So I'm back. Uh, we are back at the Airbnb and relaxing. Uh, Peanut's having some cheese and wine over here. Say hi, Peanut. <laughs> He's having some cheese and wine and watching some Netflix animal shows here. And I'm currently editing the video from the cemetery that we went to today. And um, this was 
the cards that were laid at uh, Mademoiselle Marianne Lenormand's grave for her message. And um, I thought I'd reflect on this a little bit more just simply because I asked such a generalized question and there really is a lot that can be gotten out of these simple, very, very simple five cards. Um, Teresa um, had left a message on my community page. Yes, you did it, did get it correct. But the question was if she had any messages for us and uh, for, for me, for our channel. And again, we got the lilies, the clover, the key, the stars, and the um, dog here. Central to the reading, we have these three. The clovers, the key, the stars. Now, there's going to be some bonus points for those of you that know the history of Lenormand, the petite Jew, which is the Lenormand as we know it today. There's also the grand Jew, which most of the um, history on that has been lost over time. But the actual history of this... Okay, go ahead and pause, no cheating, and put it down in the in the section below. And the answer is right here with these three. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a second. Go ahead and pause, no cheating, and leave it in the comment sections down below. Well, for those of you that are somewhat new or unfamiliar with the system, the uh, Lenormand, the Petite Jew as we know it today, um, is attributed to Marianne Lenormand, Mademoiselle Marianne Lenormand, uh, who, is a, who is very, very famous here um, in France as a card reader. And she had a lot of celebrity friends here. These two, uh, she read for a lot of celebrities, Napoleon, Napoleon's wife, Josephine, Sars from Russia. Um, she was very, very famous in her time in the salons, um, which were par uh, parlors back in the day when she would read. And the actual history of the Lenormand is that it was a game of hope. That was the original, original, original um, way that it was intended for. It was actually a board game um, that, that is German. Um, I don't speak German, so I'm not even going to try <laughs> to pronounce it for you, but um, it's uh, loosely translated in English as the Game of Hope. Here with the Clovers game, the key, very important, stars, hope. The history of this is the Game of Hope. Um, it was later on, um, once uh, Marie Lenormand became super, super famous, and when she passed, it was marketed, and they put her name on the Lenormand um, as a way of marketing uh, the board game. The, these two right here, this is a game. Um, so that's the history of it. Um, so with this, if we read it across again, and like I said earlier, there's just so much that can be gathered from just a simple five card spread um, and just the fact that I asked such an open-ended question um, a success and fame good fortune comes later on in life through a network of friendships vast friendships friendships that spread and metastasize also because we have the stars here this is also technology so friendships that are formed through a network that uses technology here. Um, with these two, this could be a very uh, old friend, old celestial friend here. Um, this could also be in regards as well as to uh, some sort of a mentor or a guru, um, someone that is well recognized and is, has a lot of fame, but they are some sort of guru here. With these two, they're very old, very wise. They have a long history. This right here is luck with fortune and celebrity. That is very, very, very important. Um, so she did have a lot to say with 
just a simple five cards and these are all extremely positive there's not one negative card here um, the lily is on its own is um, positive and neutral and it's highly influenced by the cards around it but as you can see here we have the clovers so with the lilies um, the lilies talks about uh, something as far as time it needs time to uh, like a gestation period it needs time that's why it's associated to the elders people that are wise people that have wisdom um, also veterans as well here with the lilies the clovers is very quick um, it's it's a burst of good luck kind of like when you see a four-leaf clover it's quick opportunity so these two is talking about opportunity and fame that comes later on in life it takes time to get there but when it does it forms a vast network of friendships through an online community through technology but it's all based around the game of hope and also we have the key central to the reading here um this is one of the most positive positive cards in the deck um the key, as you can see here, is the Eight of Diamonds, and the Lilies is the King of Spades. So, um, simply by suit, um, this is the answer to this line, is that wisdom, um, experience, and over time, you will have the opportunity to unlock your wishes and dreams through a network of friendships. Um, this is talking about a guru, someone that's around a lifelong friend to help you. Also, this friend can be a celestial friend here. So like some sort of perhaps celestial guide um, that is there that is quite helpful. And they've been around a long time and an opportunity for fame and success here but it is extremely important and very 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 lucky um so yeah that's what i got and there's a lot more messages here if you guys see anything else please post it down in the comments section down below um it just amazes me how much can be brought from such a small small spread how much we can get out of such a small spread um with these cards um and also i had sat with her for a good how long did you leave me there peanut uh -huh. yeah i sat with her and talked to her and did some spreads for about half an hour i made peanut wander off <laughs> and i sat with her for a while and talked and you know got some pretty good information and but that that I would prefer to keep private um it was just me talking to her and reading with her and um perhaps one day I did take pictures so I know exactly what I got um and I wrote everything down um so perhaps after I give it some time I may share that with you but um it was quite interesting I had done one spread um that was the man house, no, man, fox, house, scythe, garden. Um, let me put this that up. This another reading that I had done with her. And, um, you know, I had asked her if there was anything else she wanted to tell me. And um, I got the man, the fox, the house, the scythe, and the garden. Um, and this is, if I read it straight across, a man that was suspicious in the family that was separated and cut off, but he's in the garden. Um, the man in the garden here. And then um, uh, this could be in reference to someone's job that was cut away or the suspicions cut a fracture in the family here. Well, what was interesting was... Um, you know, later on, Peanut and I just kept wandering around the park, you know, the the um, the cemetery, which was, like, huge, you guys, huge. Um, we walked around for how long, would you say, Peanut? How long were we walking around in the cemetery? Like, a couple hours. Yeah, we were there for a couple hours, and we were just walking around, and we came across, and I did film it, um, family said familia lenormand um i do know that um she marie lenormand um did not um have a, her own family she was never married she never had any kids but she did have a nephew 
um, a man in the family in the garden, um, that uh, she had left her fortunes to, but he always disapproved of what she did for a job. Um, he was very, very, very Catholic, and um, he was against everything that she did. And so when she passed, she had left him all of her fortunes, and um, he kept the fortunes and basically destroyed everything else that she had, uh, her cards, anything uh, that was considered metaphysical. Um, but he kept the fortunes. But we did see the family, Lenormand. Um, I believe that's in this video as well. So this was uh, something quite... Uh, this right here was, was pretty cool seeing that. Totally unexpected, even though it was in the cards didn't realize what it was talking about until we just happened to by happenstance come across it because um, it was not something that we were looking for we just kind of stumbled across it so it was uh, quite serendipitous I would say so yeah this is her message um, to us um, at the channel here so, um, and you know, I had asked for a message for me and for the channel, and this is what we got. Um, you know, and this could also be talking about something that is old and historic and how lucky uh, we are to be there and share it on the internet for the friends because there's a lot of celebrities there, quite a few. And you'll see that in the video, which I'm sure you've already seen it. Um, but, uh, you know, Jim Morrison... Uh, Chopin is there, Chopin, I can't pronounce his name, Oscar Wilde, um, you know, Marie Lenormand, and, and quite a few others. There's a lot of celebrities there here. Um, so we're saying that, you know, we're very lucky to have been there and to share it with you online on the internet, the history of the place, the game of hope, um, having the keys to your hopes, wishes, and dreams fortune that comes later on in life um, and and to always remember where you came from here while you're connecting to universe because that's where the opportunity is okay so let me know you guys I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up here thank you so much for spending the day with me and I'll see you on my next one bye